Welcome to the fourth video of ABB Robotics series by CNC Train. As per our discussion about robot programming in the previous video, let us work on an example now. In today's video, we will be doing butt joint welding. Well, you might be wondering, what is butt joint welding? Butt welding is when two pieces of metal are placed end to end without overlap and then welded along the joint. Importantly, in a butt joint, the surfaces of the workpieces being joined are on the same plane and weld metal remain within the plane of the surfaces. Let us learn about a few more important terms, flex pendant and butt welding tool. Flex pendant. It is a handheld operator unit used to control the ABB UMI. It consists of both software and hardware and is needed for performing any operations of the ABB UMI, changing and executing programs. A butt welding tool is a device used to join two pieces of metal together along their edges. This process is commonly used in manufacturing and construction industries for joining pipes, sheets or other metal components. The tool typically utilizes heat generated by electricity, gas or friction to melt the metal and pressure is applied to ensure proper fusion. Butt welding tools are essential for creating strong, durable welds in various applications ensuring structural integrity and reliability. Now it's time to proceed to the video and understand the procedure of butt joint welding. Positioning either when you jog or when you run the program in production. To simulate the robot tool, you need tool data for the tool. If you import a predefined tool or if you create a tool using the create tool wizard, the tool data is automatically created. Otherwise, you have to create the tool data yourself. The tool data contains the information required for moving and simulating the tool. Arc tool is the tool data that we created in activity 3, creating tool center point, arc welding torch. Arc tool consists of the values for mass, frame and orientation of the Binzel ID 22 arc welding torch. Click or press next to continue to import arc welding torch tool data. Select controller. In the controller tools group, click the arrow next to inputs, outputs. The virtual flex pendant window opens. Now select debug. This option gives you access to perform various tasks as listed here. Click PP to main. Now the program pointer will move to the beginning of the main routine. Select debug again. Select menu. Select jogging. The most commonly used functions are available here. Select tool. This option allows you to create Modify and view the tool data of the arc welding torch. The list of tool data is displayed. Now select Arc Tool. Arc Tool is the tool data of the arc welding torch, Binzel ID 22, which we created in Activity 3, creating arc welding tool data, Binzel ID 22. Arc Tool consists of the values for mass, frame and orientation of the Binzel ID 22 arc welding torch. Select OK. Select Close. Now you have successfully selected the tool data for Binzel ID 22. In this part of the demo, you will view the final steps for creating a robot program such as adding motion instructions in the main routine, adding welding instructions. Click or press next to continue. Click add instruction at the bottom of the flex pendant window. This program consists of several instructions describing the work of the robot. There are specific instructions for various commands such as to move the robot, set an output and so on. Select the first line in the main module. In the common section, select Move J. Move J is used 
to move the robot quickly from one point to another when the movement does not have to be in a straight line. In the Add Instruction dialog box, click below to add the instruction below the current selection. Double click the asterisk symbol in Move J asterisk to enter the target of the robot. Click New to create a new target. The current position of the robot is defined as Robot Target P10. Click OK. Click OK again. Minimize the Flex Pendant window. Select the Home tab. Click the Tool drop down list and select a tool from the list. The selected tool indicates Active Tool to which move instructions are added. In this case, select T-Weld Gun. It consists of frame and orientation of the Binzel Weld Torch in rapid code. The T-Weld Gun contains the information required for moving and simulating the tool. Note that all robots have one predefined TCP at the robot's tool mounting point called Tool Zero. The T-Weld Gun Tool data of Binsel Weld Torch in rapid code. The Arc Tool Tool data of Binsel Weld Torch in station, which is created in Activity 3. Both tool data are defined the tip of the Binsel Welding Torch as Tool Center Point TCP. Select the robot. In this case, select IRB1520 ID underscore 4 underscore 150 underscore 02. In the freehand group, click Jog Linear. Move the robot in X positive direction as shown. Move the robot in Z negative direction as shown. Right click in the simulation window. Select Orientation. Select Front. This displays the front side view of the robot station. Select the robot again. Move the robot in Y positive direction as shown. Move the robot in Z negative direction as shown to reach fixture 01. Select Controller. In the Controller Tools group, click the arrow next to Inputs, Outputs. The Virtual Flex Pendant window opens. In the Common section, select Move J. Note that P20 is the name of the target position too. Now the current position of the robot is added as a joint motion instruction in the program. Minimize the Flex Pendant window. Rotate and zoom the workstation as required. Select Home. Select the robot. Move the robot in Z negative direction as shown. In the freehand group, click Jog Reorient. Now, an orientation ring appears around the TCP. Click the orientation ring and rotate the TCP of the robot to the preferred torch angle position as shown. Right click the simulation window. Select Settings. Select Representation. This lets you view the objects as a surface, wireframe, or both surface and wireframe by removing hidden lines. Select Both to view surface and wireframe. Now the joint of the two plates are displayed. Now Select the robot. In the freehand group, click Jog Linear. 
move the robot in Z negative direction to near the welding joint as shown. Select the controller tab. Then click the arrow next to inputs, outputs. The virtual flex pendant window opens. Select the move L instruction. Move L is an instruction that moves the robot linearly in a straight line from its current position to the specified position. Now the current position of the robot is added as a linear motion instruction in the program. P30 is the name of the target position number 3. Minimize the flex pendant window. Select Home. Select the robot. Move the robot in Z negative direction to near the welding joint as shown. Zoom and rotate to view closer the welding joint of the two plates. Move the TCP in Y positive direction to align the X axis with welding joint as shown. Select Controller. In the Controller Tools group, click the arrow next to Inputs, Outputs. The Virtual Flex Pendant window opens. Select the Move L instruction. Now the current position of the robot is added as a linear motion instruction in the program. P40 is the name of the target position number 4. Select Common. Note that a large number of instructions divided into several categories are available. The default category is Common, where the most common instructions are listed. Let's see how to add arc welding instructions in the robot program. Click or press Next to continue. Select Arc. Now the arc welding instructions are displayed. Select arc L start to create this position as the welding start point. Arc L start is used to weld along a straight seam. The instruction controls and monitors the entire welding process as follows. The tool center point TCP is moved linearly to the specified destination position. All faces of the welding process, such as the start and end faces, are controlled. The welding process is monitored continuously. Note, the arc L start instruction is displayed. It consists of a list of arguments such as seam, weld, etc. Let's define the seam and weld data. Click or press next to continue. New to create new seam data. Seam data describes the start and end phases of a welding process. It is included in all arc welding instructions so that, regardless of the position of the robot when the process is interrupted, a proper weld end and restart is achieved. Normally, the same seam data is used in all instructions of a seam. Select OK.
select new to create new weld data weld data describes the weld phase of the welding process it is often changed from one instruction to another along a seam select ok select ok again now arc l start instructions are added in the program p50 is the robot target position 5 where the arc welding starts seam 1 seam data describes the start and end phases of a welding process weld 1 weld data describes the weld phase of the welding process minimize the flex pendant window select home select the robot move the robot TCP in Y negative direction till the middle of the weld joint as shown select jog reorient click the orientation ring and rotate the TCP of the robot to the preferred torch angle position as shown select controller in the controller tools group click the arrow next to inputs outputs the virtual flex pendant window opens select arc L arc L is used to weld along a straight seam the instruction controls and monitors the entire welding process as follows the tool center point TCP is moved linearly to the specified destination position all phases of the welding process such as the start and end phases are controlled the welding process is monitored continuously now the middle of the joint is specified as robot target position now the current position of the robot is added as an arc weld with linear motion instruction in the program p60 is the name of the target position number six minimize the flex pendant window now move the robots TCP to reach the end position of the welding joint click or press next to continue select home select the robot select jog linear move the robot TCP in y-axis negative direction to reach the end position of the weld joint as shown select jog reorient Click the orientation ring and rotate the TCP of the robot to the preferred torch angle position as shown. Select Jog Linear again. Move the robot TCP in Y negative direction to reach the end position of the weld joint as shown. now select controller in the controller tools group click the arrow next to inputs outputs the virtual flex pendant window opens select the arc l end instruction when the instruction arc l end is used welding ends the moment when the robot reaches the destination position now the current position of the robot is added as an arc welding with linear motion instruction in the program p70 is the name of the target position number seven minimize the flex pendant window let's now create a program for adding p50 
Spark Position Instructions after welding. Click or press Next to continue. Right click on the simulation window. Select Settings. Select Representation. Select Surface. This disables the wireframe representation which was selected previously. Right click the simulation window again. Select Orientation. Select Front. This displays the front side view of the robot. Select Home. Select the robot. Move the robot TCP away from fixture 01 as shown. Zoom to view the torch gun. Select Controller. In the Controller Tools group, click the arrow next to Inputs, Outputs. The Virtual Flex Pendant window opens. Now, select Arc to close the Arc Welding Instructions page. Then, select Common to display a list of the available categories. Select Move L. Now, the current position of the robot is added as a linear motion instruction in the program. P80 is the name of the target position number 8. Minimize the flex pendant window. Right click the simulation window. Select orientation. Select left. This displays the left side view of the robot. Select Home. Select the robot. Move the robot TCP to add park position after the arc welding application is completed as shown. Select Controller. In the Controller Tools group, click the arrow next to Inputs. Outputs. The Virtual Flex Pendant window opens. Select Move L. Now, the current position of the robot is added as a linear motion instruction in the program. P90 is the name of the target position number 9. Now the robot TCP is moved to Park Position and the Park Position motion instructions are added in the robot program. Let's now learn how to execute a homing routine. Click or press Next to continue. At the bottom left of the Flex Pendant window, click Add Instruction. Select Debug. Select PP to Routine to select the Home Routine. Select Home. Select OK. Now the home routine is displayed. Select Enable to turn on drives and motors. Select Step Forward to execute the Move ABSJ instruction. Now the robot moves to the home position. Let's now see how to import ArcTool data. Click or press Next to continue. Select PP to Main. Select Debug. Move the cursor to the last line of the program. Select the last line of the program. Select 
menu select jogging select tool note that in the homing routine the default tool data tool 0 is used in move ABSJ instruction after the execution of homing routine the default tool data tool 0 is activated let's select arc tool select ok close the window now select add instruction then select move J the current position of the robot is added as a joint motion instruction in the program command here P100 is the name of the target position number 10 you have successfully added motion instructions in the main routine added welding instructions and completed jogging the robot to create robot targets we hope this video was informative and interesting for you CNC Train provides services for individuals, institutions and enterprises. New video releasing every Friday. Thank you.